up to death. Harry still does not understand that William did this for him. Charles dispatches MI6 to rescue Harry from Meghan. Hello friends, welcome to breaking royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. I feel so bad for Charles and William. How does one begin to handle a situation like this when Harry the idiot is not cooperating? They can't even intervene in any way. He's an adult who's made his bed and is in another country. Charles and William must be sick with worry and anger, being well aware of Meghan's capability to utterly destroy him. I'm sure they must have tried to get Harry's friends to reach out to him. Maybe that's why we saw him with a friend a couple of times. But clearly, Harry doesn't trust his own father and brother anymore. Thanks, Meghan. Even after William swore to their mummy that he loves him and wants the best for him, Harry only thought to scoff at that publicly in his spare. They clearly can't approach him directly. They're also not going to get past Meghan in order to reach Harry. They couldn't even reach him when he was right there in Westminster Abbey and she was an ocean and entire continent away. If I were in the royal family's place, there's just no way that I'd let myself be blindsided anymore by Meghan's constant shenanigans, meaning spies. I hope Charles and William have eyes and ears on Harry and are at least protecting the interests of the British royal family, even if they cannot physically protect their own son and brother. Nobody wants a widowed duchess swanning around and crying about how the evil British royal family didn't protect her one true love. She would never stop. Harry has never been sober since meeting Meghan. It wasn't enough that William slam dunked Harry into the dog bowl and broke his necklace. It wasn't enough for William to swear on mummy's life because Harry still didn't see the large scale of his situation. But maybe this will do something, and they won't accept Harry being so dumb to the truth. He's been brainwashed and needs to be treated as such. Someone who's brainwashed cannot see what's in front of them. They can only see what's been washed. Harry still thinks all of his family are wrong, that Meghan and Doria are right, and that all of his family owe Meghan an apology. She wanted to stand over Her Majesty the late Queen as she lay dying like the vulture she is. Now she wants to stand over Harry and pick away at his insecurities like the vulture she is. It seems nobody can do it. She has him hypnotized and he cannot escape it. His family and friends must be beside themselves. It's one thing losing a family member to a narcissist, but it's another thing to watch them act like this and pretend that history is repeating itself. Megan and Doria are rotten. I liked Doria at the beginning, didn't like Megan from the engagement onwards, but now I can see they're from the same cloth and they're in cahoots to knock Harry down. Doria and Megan are both users and abusers, liars and manipulators. That's what Harry sees all day and all night. This car chase is disgusting, and Harry needs to see this for what it is. He's playing along with her bullshit because of the brainwashing. He thinks his family did him dirty and he wants the security detail. His washed brain means that he thinks he's doing what's best here. An angry insider replied, I said the same a couple of years ago. She wants to be the widow. She wants him to commit suicide. I know how crass that sounds, but there are people out there just like Megan and their ghouls. They would prefer someone to end their life because it makes them the bigger victim and they get to play the widow. I really hope that this Diana death stunt is all it takes for William to get on a plane, grab Harry by the nuts, and fucking shake him into seeing what he's married. Meghan Markle will always want to be the victim, and she's tried to be Diana all this time, but this car chase is disgusting. The fake feelings of suicide, the perfume, the second coming of Diana, etc. Put all that bullshit aside and this cosplaying of Diana's actual death should be the icing on the cake. 
She needs to be sectioned and assessed. She's a very, very sick woman who's turned on by cosplaying her husband's dead mother. My stomach has turned a full circle, and even I want to go and grab him by the nuts and make him see what's in front of him. Actually, I'd want to go grab him since seeing that chase scene on Netflix. You can tell he's being manipulated and abused. I cannot imagine what his family and friends think. God, that's got to be worse than feeling helpless. Charles played the only card he had. He cut off the purse. But Harry has his own money and a wife who was sober enough to sign a mortgage. If she had been a British citizen and they'd been stuck fleeing England, Charles might have stood a chance. But with Harry halfway around the world, he really can't force him to get help. Charles really cannot do anything unless he gets Harry kidnapped by MI5 and taken to a secret location for deprogramming. I wonder if they have considered anything that is non-traditional. I really hope the royal family has some sort of handle on things behind the scenes. If they've actually cut off all ties with Harry, it would be stupid. They ought to at least have a couple of spies listening in on Harry's conversations with this well-being in mind. To be honest, I really want to believe the actual royal family knows what's going on at all times. I wouldn't doubt if there's an MI6 or ex-MI6 tasked with keeping tabs on him so that he could be extracted to safety if necessary. I've known other people who work in far fewer positions who are aware of these types of lingering fellows whenever they are in England. It would be easy for Charles to have someone hired to keep a distant eye on Harry. A headline like Prince Dies of a Drug Overdose in California just wouldn't be a good look. Not saying Megan and her shifty mom aren't capable of destroying him. I just don't think they could get to burying a body in the backyard stage. Do you think the royal family is desperate right now? Should they give up on Harry? Maybe it's time for the royal family to protect themselves from these two. They are already, as we speak, being accused by the squad and all pro-Sussex people of trying to kill the Sussexes. Pretty soon, Harry and Meghan will make a very ugly accusation against the family, something far worse than being concerned about Archie's skin color. Meghan's number one target has always been Kate, and so I believe the ugly accusation will be thrown at William. Mark my word, she will do it. If I were advising the royal family, I would suggest they reveal to the world the full extent of Harry's past behavior and his mental issues. Reveal the fact that they as a family are dealing with an unstable loved one who is now in the clutches of a malignant narcissistic and her mother and what they've gone through. After what Harry and that woman have done today, they have to realize how dangerous all of this is. What do you think of the royal family and what they can do now to save Harry? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.